this is just a test to see if this works. Uh, I can't, uh, I can't find my uh, my main iPod Touch, so I'm using this older one. But it's got a 64 gig capacity, a camera. It's not supposed to be a meh camera compared to the modern one, but uh, we'll see. Let's see if I can find it in here. Oh, excuse the uh, the brief interlude. Nope, it's not in here. Um. Anyway, just me walking around the place. The temperature's in the high 80s. It's a little bit, uh, no, it's more than a little bit hot. And this is interesting. My sister's been having her uh, house recited. You can see the, the bluish gray. That'll be the, the final outcome. If you look, you can also see sort of yellowish. That's the actual siding before it's been uh, painted. One of the fellows working on it over there. Some construction company out of Dallas, Texas, or Oregon, I think. But uh, let's walk over here and take a look. Just me documenting it. It's kind of cool. Did you see they rebuilt the uh, the stairwell going upstairs, and that's pretty cool. And I got some weeds I got to take out here. Oh, by the way, this is my backyard. Well, technically it's my front yard, but it's uh, fenced in, so it's my backyard. <coughs> it's fenced in because. When my sister lived here with my dad, she had uh, four dogs, I think. So she had fence built all the way around it on his nickel, but she had fence built all the way around it to uh, keep the dogs in. Fine by me because when I uh, fenced off the property, I just uh, attached to it and used it as part of it. Though there was no gate over there in the corner, well, I added one out of these gates here too. Both of them. Not this gate. This this was uh, this was added by whoever built this this fence. I don't know who built oh, come on thing. Who built the fence. But anyway, I added that gate. I got that at Wilco. And this was some fencing that was uh, rolled up in the barn, some old fence. No, this is the new fencing. Beyond the next gate is the old fencing. <clears throat> it's uh, much too short, but it wasn't really meant as a barrier of any kind. Well, that one over there is. I put that gate and this gate you yeah, look over there at the yard, that gate I put in as well. This fence here, my grandfather first put in. I think Dad kept it up. But I helped my sister fence off that main field over there. And this one. And I built this one. Now this fencing was used fencing. I have no idea where Jack Teeters got it. But it was also rolled up in the, the barn. So I unrolled it. You've got some used fence posts. Again, I have no idea where they came from. And just put it up. And it's all anchored to a piece of pipe over there. The original fence there was wooden. You see the wooden posts? Well, that was it. This is my woodshed, by the way. I had some other pipe, used it to reinforce the fence. At one point there were horses in this other field over here and I wanted it to sort of reinforce so that the horses wouldn't come in. Uh, you can see where the original fence posts were <coughs> and a tree that was standing here. As I recall I took that tree out. It used to be a huge pile of wood laying right here. 
chopped up for my uh, fireplace. Uh, that is the, uh, the remnants of the old family tree which stood over by the old house on the left side of the building. It was taller than any of these other trees around here. Big old redwood. And it was something. Well, matter of fact, it was so much of a something. This is a plum tree. Produces terrible fruit. Here's the remnants of the, the stumps from it. And you can tell there's my hand on this stump, which is just bloody huge. And there's several of them here. I chopped up all the small wood, and I got about five years worth of firewood out of it. Could chop this up, and I could get another year or two. Dang, that, I mean, that dark wood there, I don't even know if it would burn. Heartwood from an old, uh, well, 150-year-old redwood? Maybe not. That's what's left of the, uh, the tower after it fell over. Oh, well. This is the outside of the shop. Let's go inside. And here's the inside, which is where I spend most of my time. I'm a typical old man. You know, what do you do with an old man? Well, you give him a bunch of tools and let him tinker. Well, in my case, it isn't woodwork. <laughs> Far from it. I like to tinker with metal. And this is my, my metalworking mill. Drill press. A mini drill press, you never know. And this is actually a wood saw, but uh, I had another one of those here. This one, again, was Goodwill. Most of this stuff is Goodwill. This is Goodwill. And this is what got me started. This silly lathe, which I still have not fixed. Well, it's on the uh, agenda. C'est la vie. back to here. Well, I need to water my plants, so 